Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to Code Signal to work on some of the database programming in SQL. Um, so we're going to go to the arcade and we're going to continue with the databases section. So we did the welcome to, to the table section, one through five. So now we're on the always leave table in order. So this gives you a hint that it's going to be about ordering things. So we're going to go to volleyball results number six. So there's a bunch of flavor text here. Uh, I'm not going to read that. Um, so they give us a results table that has name, country, scored, missed, and wins. Um, so this is a bunch of soccer stuff. And here, down here, they show us, so this is the results table they're giving us. And what is, they want us to output is this, which is just uh, sorted by uh, the number of wins. So it's very simple. So they give us a stored procedure and we just have to fill in this part. And so since we need all the columns, you can do select star. Star just means to select all the columns. From, uh, so the table that they're giving us is results. So we just put that in. And they want us to order it by the number of wins. So we just order by wins. And we don't have to put anything after that because by default it will be ascending. And then we just put a semicolon uh, to tell the database engine that that is the end of the SQL statement. So if we run the tests, we'll see that they all pass. We get the same results as they expected. And that's all you need to do. So that one was pretty simple. I hope you guys were able to follow that one. I'm going to keep doing these. Uh, and so you can check back and see more of the exercises and maybe some of them you'll have a little trouble with, and I'll able to point you in the right direction. All right, thank you very much.